I've always been a nervous competitor, but it was sometime last year when I felt those nerves transition into fear. It felt like everything that I had achieved so far was also fragile. One fall, one hiccup, one not perfect skate, and everyone would know that I was a fraud, that I didn't deserve the accolades and awards that I had been given. It was crippling, and it ended up getting the best of me. When you fail under pressure over and over again, it really begins to affect how you view yourself. Heading into this season, I had promised myself that it wasn't going to be a repeat of the last. But with having a new partner, you never know what's going to happen. All I can do right now is put in the work and hope for the best. Meet my partner, Addy. For the past three months, we've spent almost every single day together. She's the kind of girl who is insane enough to come in every single morning and train at 6 a.m. by herself. Which is precisely one of the reasons why we get along so well. <laughs> Before staying with me, she skated with, um... So, it turns out her last competition was in free skate. So, for those of you who are wondering, figure skating is actually split into three disciplines. Free skate is a single player mode where they go wee! While Paris is a multiplayer mode where they both go wee! And finally, dance is, um, dance is, uh, we? So there's no jumping in dance because most of us, i.e. only me, can't jump. And one thing that all three disciplines have in common is we all have two programs, a short and a long. And the skater slash skaters with the highest combined total score wins the event. Today is July 19th, 2023. It is currently 9.15 p.m. and we fly out tomorrow morning. Overall, I am pretty pleased with the amount of work we've been able to put in the past two weeks. It really feels like we left nothing on the table and gave it our all. But if I'm being honest here, that does little to calm the nerves. I think it's because I'm focusing too heavily on the results and I know that isn't productive in any way, but I really want to do well. And it doesn't help that so far this week, we haven't really done a good program run through. Um, Addy fell really hard the other day and I'm worried that she's hurt but also with that i'm a little bit distracted because of everything else that's happening around me so the focus for this competition will be to direct all of my attention towards addy and make sure that her first time out is a good experience i think last year i was so afraid of competing because even though on the surface it seemed like i was working really hard deep down i knew that it was only a fraction of what i could give so this time i feel really good I don't have any regrets on how hard we've been training, so whatever happens, happens. There's no point in stressing on the things that I can't control. I guess I'll just try to have fun. Put your headphones on, turn me out. Make sure the sound proof. Here we go. It's great. I think. <laughs> Her 
representing Palanca Figure Skating Club, Addison Pale, Danielle Yu. I wish there was an undo button in life, but guess that's the beauty of all of it. You only get one shot to make it count. If we did well, there was a chance that we could be selected to represent Canada in an international competition. I felt right at home. Our first element was my rocker fox shot. Our goal wasn't to be perfect, since it was a relatively simple dance. The goal was just to stand out by being faster than the other teams, since speed is the one variable that every judge can appreciate easily. The rotational lift was one of the simpler elements for us to learn, but being so early in the year, it was still inconsistent, and sometimes it went wrong. Toozles was one of our most consistent elements during training. I should have been confident going into them, except I fell during warm-up, so... There are only two more elements remaining, her rocker foxtrot and a midline no touch step sequence, two relatively easier elements, and as quickly as we started the program, we finished. It was right around how I expected it to go. Clean. Today is July 24th, 2023. It is currently 12, 15 p.m. We made it back from the competition and it just feels so unfair that we always get overlooked when it comes to opportunities, yet we've worked so hard to get to this point. We have two pretty good skates. Yeah, yeah, it's just frustrating. Bravo! The work you put in has gone off on occasion. But I guess I'll just continue to focus on my process. It gets so good that they can't help but to look over. Do you see the list? The, the text? Yeah! <laughs> that's, that's exciting. So, we just have to keep working hard. 